In this video, I'll be sharing with you my story. So I became very psychic and very sick all at the same time. I had a digestive disorder that Western medicine knew very little about, as I discovered, um, but I was intuitively guided on a healing journey. And I began learning about energy medicine. My energy levels were dwindling. Um, I would look in the mirror and I would see that twinkle in my eye diminishing and that was really scary because I felt like my spirit was dying. My number one priority at that time became to heal myself. At the same time, I met a medical intuitive and she helped me see how my physical illness was connected to my emotional and mental health. In fact, what she told me was that I needed to love myself more. And I thought, what does that mean? Um, don't I love myself already? How do I do that? I just had absolutely no idea, but I was open and I was willing to understand. And then I was going through a phase where I felt as though I had lost, completely lost the joy in my heart. Thankfully, it was at that point when I really met the teachers and masters that helped me to learn how to love and nurture myself. They introduced me to this self-nurturing system, which absolutely changed my life. So, I mean, this system kept coming to me over and over and over again from different people and in different, in different formats, but it kept coming to me over and over again. Once I was given a book from a teacher in the school I was working with on the same healing system and I took it home. So this particular morning I had the book open, I was following the exercises, I was focusing on my sexual center. I was breathing rhythmically. I was feeling the contractions in my pelvic floor and moving the energy with my mind. And then something happened that never happened before. I literally popped out of my body. My energy became so big. It was like I became like a blowfish and my physical body felt uh, so small, like it couldn't contain the energy inside of me. What happened next was my body spontaneously started going into yogic postures as if to try to spread the energy out and, and contain it all. So I wasn't doing yoga, yoga was doing me. Um, at the end of it all, I had my very first Full body orgasm. Wow, what an experience for one of the first times that I had tried this system. In fact, some of it was familiar. I had already been learning some of it through my practices in Qigong. So that's not the extent of the experience. That's only just the beginning. For the rest of the day, I was literally altered, high, I guess you could say. Um, poetry was pouring out of my being. It's like I couldn't write fast enough. It was just coming out. Eventually I got rid of the paper and it was all just flowing through spontaneously through my speech. And I saw my mom later that day and I decided to share some of my poetry with her and she listened and she began responding to my poetry. And what I realized was I was seeing my mom and feeling her in a way that I had never seen her and felt her before. I was seeing her and feeling her from my heart with compassion. I had so much acceptance for her and so much understanding of who she is and so much, and so much love. 
So when I went to bed that night, I prayed to God that I would stay like this forever, like infinitely, spontaneously creative and, and so compassionate and accepting. And my prayers have been answered. I now help other women to connect their sex, their heart, and their spirit. In fact, I run my own business and I am the creative and artistic program director of Wildly Woman. So this feels really great to have the power to be doing exactly what it is that I love. And with these tools, I've learned that the power of that sexual energy when connected with the heart creates compassion and that compassion is absolutely necessary for healing. So I notice now that with this added compassion that I have for myself, I'm able to heal and transform so many emotional blockages so much faster. And that means I am able to remove obstacles that are in my way and have the strength and the energy that I need to move forward on my purpose. So now I'm following my heart. I'm doing exactly what my heart is telling me to do. Um, and that feels really amazing. It's not always logical and rational, but I really believe when we are all connected in sexuality, in our heart and in our spirit, then we can really follow on with our true purpose in life. So my mission and my purpose has even become more obvious for those of you who are looking for your purpose and mission. That I give this nurturing to myself first and then I share it with others. And in fact, this self-nurturing has become a cornerstone to my success to my success of living a balanced life in my work, in my relationships, in my health, in all aspects of my being. So please join me in the next video where I will be talking about how you can shift to nurture yourself and the two important things you can shift in order to nurture yourself and make yourself your first priority. Thanks, and I hope you can join me.